Trust me, we are trying hard. Yes, I've Long tried. and hard every I've day. Tried. <laughs> yes, you're definitely trying hard. <laughs> Hello world. <laughs> right now I have my jacket over me because it's raining outside. Because I don't want my bangs to get all curly. Because <laughs> they will. My hair is curly. But um, this morning we went to church and we had a good service. And then me and John went to the grocery store to get a couple of items. It was just a busy day so we're headed out with my family to Papa Gino's because they have the all you can eat pizza and pasta. And we're gonna go to that now. We're waiting for our food, but the guys got their pizza already. <coughs> and John is already enjoying it. How is it, babe? Great, but if you're in New York, I know this is a pizza. Okay. If you're in New York, New York pizza is better, of course, because it's gourmet. But this is pretty good for over here. It's six bucks all you want. Okay. Six bucks all you can eat. Good for us New Englanders. Wait, this, this all you can eat is only six yeah. bucks. Yeah. Damn, that's a good deal. <laughs> Look at them laughing. <laughs> Kayla's trying to imitate. Kayla's trying to imitate John laughing. <laughs> he says that he always laughs silent, like no sound Yo, comes again, out. Again, the <laughs> no, he, he transitions. He goes, and then he goes slowly down. <laughs> He like, bears down? No, like he's biting on us. Like he's, he's biting, biting on his onion. <laughs> he's biting on his onion. <laughs> I hate driving in weather like this. Two things I don't like driving in. Monsoon rain and snow. I don't like driving in either of those. But I live in New England, so I have to. That's why I don't like New England. Imagine if this was snow. No, I don't want to imagine. We're in uh, June already, so. Well, we really didn't have a bad winter this year. Thank God. The last winter we had like a snowstorm twice a week. <laughs> it was so bad we didn't know where to put the snow. The like the people the would other. shovel and plow and we just didn't know where to put the snow. There was like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet tall snow dunes. It's like huge. How about the one when you guys used to live at Crystal Village? That was pretty bad. Yeah, that one was bad. We couldn't even open the front door because it was so high. I do not like snow. It's the one thing I hate. Is no. What type of weather do you guys hate? Oh yeah, question of the question day. Question of the day for you guys. Which type of weather do you hate? Do you absolutely hate? Okay? I don't like snow. I don't like snow storms, nothing. But some of you who live in warm areas might say I hate the scorching heat. I don't know. That could be your thing. Some of them might say tornadoes. Tornadoes. Okay. Or earthquakes. Hurricanes! <laughs> Blizzards! <laughs> Yesterday, John fell asleep before I even got to bed when Last I took a shower. <laughs> and I showed you guys a quick footage of that in yesterday's vlog. Well, last night, I was having a hard time sleeping because between Jonathan and Hannah, I'm like the cream in the Oreo. I'm squished between two bodies. And Hannah's tiny. But she likes to spread herself out. And John just moves like the wind at night. So sometimes I'm like, like this, huddled in the corner, because he's taking the whole freaking bed. 
<laughs> and he takes the whole blanket. Serious problems sharing a bed with someone. I told him when we get a house, our own home, we are buying a king size bed. That is first on my agenda. Well, you have to have a big room to get a king size bed. I will. Seriously, we had a king size bed at the hotel in Connecticut and it was a dream. Because if Hannah wasn't there, no. Hannah wasn't there, but if I could like open yeah. my arms and not hit him. <laughs> John didn't like it. He's like, I feel like you're so far away. I'm like, good. <laughs> I was like, I like cuddling and everything, but not when I'm falling asleep. I need to fall asleep with nothing touching me. And that's just how I am. No wonder you haven't made a baby yet. Oh, so, shush. That's not how it works, Caleb. I know how it works. <laughs> Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> the way it works is the complete opposite of what Steph and John are doing. Shut up. No oh, wow. <laughs> Trust me, we are trying hard. Yes, I'm trying Long and hard I'm every day. I heard the noise. <laughs> wow. Yes, you're definitely trying hard. <laughs> Tabby said she's heard the noises. I don't I know have. what that means. I've heard you going I don't know what, I just I don't know what that means. I hear crying. That's all I hear. <laughs> I hear like, like actually somebody died. And, and she's crying over this dead body. That's what I hear. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Tabby. These people are crazy. Yeah. They complain to me that they want a, 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 a nephew or a grandchild, but then they complain about the, ner the noise disturbance. That's why we went to Connecticut. <laughs> I know, TMI, right? We're here again, orange leaves. But this time we brought John. You pick your cup, and that's how much you pay, huh? John, this is why why is it cup? John, oh, that's because they, um, they mix, I think they mix it for you. So which ones of these flavors are any good? Oh, uh, we are so stuffed. So guys, are you all full? <laughs> Look at John's face. Look at John's face. What's up with your face? Huh? I'm happy. I'm full. He's full. He liked the Froyo at Orange Leaf. He doesn't normally like Froyo. So. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. What? We were gonna go for seconds, Can but then we we're like, we probably shouldn't since we're so Daddy. full. Yes, finally. So mom and I are like, we need Daddy. to detox Daddy. tomorrow. <laughs> we need to be less at Weight Watchers this Friday, so time to exercise oh, yeah. and, and detox. I don't want to be more. No. So I have to do. I'm gonna exercise Me either. All week. I've been more for three weeks in a row, so as a matter of fact, I need to do something. I. It's hard to exercise when I feel so I full. <laughs> John has to lose weight, so he's going to poop to lose it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this vlog's been TMI today. I'm going to have to label it the TMI vlog. Okay. Okay. Dad, that's a good, that's a good <laughs> title. <laughs> so I'm taking my meds before bed. Oh, I got to take my vitamin D. Shoot. I'm take your vitamin D. I gotta, I, I am the worst person to remember to take any kind of pill. Any kind of pill, unless I'm in pain, then I'm gonna cry out for pain medicine. Or when I don't sleep, I take Benadryl. So that's the only time I remember to actually take medicine. Other than that, you have to remind me. I need to take my prenatal medicine, <laughs> especially when I'm pregnant. So that's just a burden right there, because I'm gonna need to do that. Because it's going to be very important and crucial to my baby's health. So, until then, I can figure out and master a plan on remembering to take my medicine. Things said from the bed. So, I have said that before, that I wanted to do a segment called Things Said from the Bed. But I never knew what I wanted to, like, base it on and talk about. So, I finally came up with what I wanted to talk about and it's going to be topics on marriage and relationships. It may not be every vlog, it may be just like every other or something like that. I'm still 
tweaking things out and seeing how it works. But we'll just bring up a topic that we're dealing with or um, that's something happened in the day or just something we'd like to share. And we'll go from there. Today's topic is about letting go. Letting go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> so very quickly, because <coughs> I don't want this to be like a 10 minute segment. Hi. Hi. Today in church, we were approached by someone that we know. And they were just talking about some things in the past, yada, yada. Not going to get into the whole story of that. But it just made me think, because another situation happened in the day that it just sparked in me. Like, how many times is it hard for us to let go of something? Like, not even the past, like, even the present. Just like, say John calls me a witch <laughs> or something. I mean, he wouldn't do that, but mm. let's just say. And then I'm mad at him. And he doesn't even know, most guys don't know why you're mad at them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, hon? Yep. And um, he'll be like, why are you mad at me or whatever? But at the end of the day, you need to be able to let it go. Not let it go to the fact that whatever, he can say what he wants to me. But let it go in the fact that, all right, I'm choosing to talk it over. You know, figure out why it bothered me say something to said person it could be your spouse it could be your best friend it could be just someone you know uh close that you know um and you got to be able to let it go because it's just it's not going to be good for you in the long run <laughs> right you know, holding on to things doesn't help you in the end it just hurts you and hurts everyone around you and hurts the person that hurt you which won't help you. <laughs> yeah. And then, then it just ends up being a big snowball that grows and grows mm -hmm. and grows and grows and grows. And then how do you get back from that? Eventually, maybe you can, but it'll take a very long time. And to restore relationships after the fact, it's, it's not pretty. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to make this long, but I just want to encourage you, if you're going through anything, if there's something that happened today, last week, a year ago, whenever, start thinking about how you can overcome that and let go of it and be able to move forward, being happy and enjoying your life and loving your life and just being able to pay it forward to someone else. So we're going to end the vlog here. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Going to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, what the? And remember to love your life. Okay. Travis, she'll kill you! Hello, world! Hurry up, hurry up. I stole my sister's camera. Hey, I took Stephanie's camera. Make sure